All right, it's Eve for marketwizards.com and emoneywizard.com. It's 10 o'clock, 24th of January, 2019. Reminding traders to use risk capital. You can afford to lose if you're playing this game. All right, a good question has come up uh, where I've suggested spread out your trades. And someone has asked is, if we have a 30 and we bounce up to say the 41 area, that, that's really not spreading out your trades, is it? <laughs> to take another immediate short. And, and so the answer, in my opinion, is time-wise, no. It's, that's not spreading out your trades, but price-wise, <clears throat> when you see a, a theme that you think is going to prevail, like someone taking their profits, and we've had a resistance zone that has not been able to be broken yet. We've had a reversal of fortune for the longs because they really had the upper hand at the open where all they needed to do was to protect the 38 and then the 32s if they could. And they could squeeze and get a bit higher. But that hasn't happened. And because we took out the low, theoretically now, instead of bounces or, or pullbacks being contras and then buy, we've had the opposite effect where we've gone now from high to low. So theoretically, first bounces should be able to be hit. And then the question is, can you continue to make new lows or not? So, so that reversal of fortune is, is very subtle, and yet it's an important consideration because we've started to make a lower high and lower low. So now the burden is on the longs to try to get above and try to put the squeeze back on. And to do that, they need to recapture that original territory and hold it and say, no, that's just a marginal low. Great question. And, and I hope that that answers it. And again, I don't have all the answers. I, I'm just telling you from my perspective and the things that, you know, uh, I've learned over the years and not going to be 100% true all the time, but certainly as a rule of thumb. So, and you guys have heard me say that before. If we don't take out the low, then these are pullbacks. If we do, then that changes. I'm still thinking it's relatively neutral. Um, if you go back and, and for those of you who had the spreadsheet, I put a calculation there for you from <clears throat> yesterday's low. <clears throat> if you take a look at yesterday's low and the bounce high, uh, the middle of that swing is 28.75. So that's still a very important consideration, this 28 zone. So, so back in here where I've said theoretically this, this 28 zone is important. So what, what I'm doing with that swing is measuring from this low to that bounce high. And then a 456 would come back into that 29, 2875 area. So right now still basis this swing, we're still above the midpoint of that swing. So kind of important area for the longs to hold. I think, here's a graphic of what we were just talking about. So this is like a swing chart. I'm saying from yesterday's low, take your e-widget, set it for a fixed price for yesterday's low, and then fixed price on the high side, today's high. And that gives us the swing zone. So, so we know just by looking at this chart, <clears throat> the shorts need to get underneath this 29 and penetrate backwards uh, to win this game. And the longs need desperately to <clears throat> try to support this zone. So <clears throat> this chart basically ignoring everything else other than the swing range. <clears throat> and all you're doing is taking today's high, <clears throat> set it fixed, <clears throat> yesterday's low fixed, and that's our swing range. 
very helpful chart to, <clears throat> to look at this perspective. And it shows you the box sizes and it shows you <clears throat> where we came back earlier, this 33, 32, <clears throat> we're really testing the top of the pipe. Every chart tells a different story. And I realize this may be overkill, but this is the type of stuff that I do. I think we have to work harder than the average trader if we're going to have an edge. Gives you a different perspective, doesn't it? <clears throat> if we use yesterday's low and high, <clears throat> we're going to have this chart right here, right? <clears throat> it's going to plug in yesterday's high and yesterday's low. And so we can see where we are in that range, but we won't have the true perspective of this smaller swing. Two different things. Correct? So in this, in this chart, we're comparing the swing from yesterday's low to this high. And if you don't set it that way, then you'll have a differential there. So this is a truer perspective of this, this range, that swing. Now, one of the things that I do is try to, what I call scanning for the charts in play. I'm kind of a bit of a, a little bit of a nervous Nelly in that I'm looking at a lot of charts and try to pick the one or two that I think are the most important. Some guys will use just one chart. That's a luxury that I don't enjoy, but I think this gives me an edge to look at the market in different perspectives. And we already know the base idea is that like that 32 year middle we said that market's fighting for. <clears throat> I think one of the things today that I'm looking for is can the longs take out <clears throat> the high, put a little squeeze on. If they can't, <clears throat> then I think they're doomed to come back and, and retest below us back here into that uh, 25 to 22 area. So for now, pretty important battle during IB. So very important chart for me. <clears throat> I don't believe that this is anything more than finding support and trying to test resistance. And I think if you take a look back here at 28, 29 still holding, still making the case for <clears throat> good defense, at least by the, by the longs, not necessarily a lot of offense. Original premise was that would be fairly choppy trying to resolve this mess. And you can see <clears throat> into the market about 45 minutes, and we still have that. So got a little megaphone, and for those of you who <clears throat> trying to understand what I was saying, here's a little teeny intraday megaphone pattern. Right, <clears throat> lower lows. Higher highs. 
typically that kind of a pattern <clears throat> it's assumed to be bearish but I, I don't want to give that thought too much energy right now <clears throat> as long as this 32 area is, is holding but that's what I mean by megaphone and so far I think the safest bet is to assume that we have an inside day. Meaning yesterday's high and yesterday's low and we'll stay inside it. That's probably a moral victory for the longs right now if, if they can do that because we've been making lower <clears throat> lows and lower highs the last few days. But don't forget, uh, the beginning of the month bias is usually when you'll get your rips and then you should get a little bit more normalized action after that. <clears throat> so we're well past the beginning of the month, obviously. And that tends to be more, much more neutral. <clears throat> Fighting box is holding, support box is holding. <clears throat> And mentally, you want to say this is our fighting box now and this is our resistance box, <clears throat> then that's okay because it, it's the reality of what's going on. First time we've touched 42s. Do not rule out taking out both sides of the overnight range today. And we're testing obviously the demon at 43.75. Still considering 28 support. If your charts are somewhat organized, you should be able to find them <clears throat> easy enough. I've, I've got the same look. Here's that middle holding. <clears throat> Based on this chart, you got to use that idea of that 48 as <clears throat> a key idea. And probably a target for the longs if they can bust out <clears throat> the highs. <clears throat> if you take <clears throat> same look, <clears throat> like I duplicate this, I've got the same setup over here with different charts, <clears throat> but it makes it relatively easier to find. And yesterday's demon is 49, if I'm remembering correctly. So keep that in mind. <clears throat> I do believe before the day's over, we will take those highs out. Just the way the boys love to play. Run stops both sides. Double tops come first. Make sure you're paid into 43, 75, 44s <clears throat> if you are long side. And we are coming into the end of IB. Little marginal low, trapped a few shorts, and then got a push. Still relatively tame day. And equal opportunity employers. about a 15 point range for our TH. And we still have that 38 area as our middle. 
Let me continue to believe 28 to 32 is support until broken. And a little squeeze type trade. A program trade, you can see it from the 32s. These traders yesterday got caught. <clears throat> That's a retest of that break. <clears throat> and this is the RTH chart, but a 10 minute chart. And you can see how we're holding the rain line on the 10, pushing up. And if you look back at the 15, <clears throat> you can see how that held yesterday. It's trying to push. So over and under tells us range type trading. 15 minute chart, <clears throat> trying to hold. Our base chart is five though for the RTH, but I, I do look at those. And range type trading so far today, <clears throat> no doubt about that. And we said probably limited to uh, first hour, <clears throat> fairly choppy. In days that we get 50 point swings, <coughs> 15 points is nothing, obviously. And <coughs> got to give credit to the Longs for defending their turf, this 28, 29 area. Just the marginal low and sucked in a few shorts and then trapped a couple. So <coughs> early longs got banged, <coughs> late shorts got banged. And reminder, <coughs> there's a retest of scene of the crime news earlier. And, and I would think before we're done, we'll take out the highs. Just a feeling I have. <coughs> so aggressive support, let's make that 38. Shorts have to undo 38 or the squeeze is going to come from here. I say we take out the highs. <clears throat> so you may miss a trade, good trade short side, because I'm being a little conservative with uh, my expectation. <clears throat> but I think if this 38 can hold, <clears throat> then perhaps we can get IB breakout next hour. Is our TH range, 37 and a half, 38 in middle. So using that idea that the longs need to defend that <clears throat> to keep pushing. <clears throat> 